Shalom, Shalom. This is Brother Gabar Ya'ala. And I just want to uh, open up by giving all praises, glory, and honor due unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaha, Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. That rule well and that do teach well and that have taught me this truth. To you, I say Shalom and Shalom to the hopeful elect. Kwam Yasha'ala and Abad Babal. Okay, so this is just going to be a video going into the MOTB, which is found in Revelation 13 and 16 on down. And this video proves that the, the MARK is here. And real soon is going to be made mandatory. And we're coming much closer to that. And what you see here in the video is... A woman that is a part of, I believe, the United States military. And the military made her um, get this uh, CHIP embedded in her right hand. And she's showing what the CHIP does. And she's about to pay for her groceries with her right hand by waving it on the scanner. So, yeah, you know, this goes into the Miracles of the Beast. This goes into the M-A-R-K. And um, this is going to be made mandatory. And, and, and this shows that real soon. Real soon, uh, you, regular, reg, uh, you regular day people, you uh, average citizens, you're going to have to take this in order to uh, function uh, in the society. So um, I'm going to just play the clip and I'm going to get the precepts. Our technology is coming. So I already signed the paperwork. Nope. Yes, we're gonna get one in our nope, baby's wrist. But they can't get it until they're three years old. Damn. She signed the paperwork already and see that's uh these women man. They're gonna entice you uh, to get the chip and they might just take your kids too and make your kids take the chip. So that's what you're seeing. Hey, this is gonna happen on a grand scale. And this is going to come to the public, the general public. But, um, hey man, just, just uh, keep in mind, these women are going to threaten you to take the MOTB. But you see the husband, he's like, nah, I'm not taking that, man. I'm not taking that. But uh, this is just more proof that uh, the MOTB is here. Revelation chapter 13 and 16 on down. Uh, what we've been saying for years, starting with our elders and apostles. So I'm just going to uh, let's let's get uh, second. Let's start off with Second Corinthians two and eleven. Let's start off with that. This is Second uh, Corinthians chapter two and eleven. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. By now, you shouldn't be ignorant if you're in this truth. You should be in the know. You should be well aware that uh, this is to destroy you. This device. Right, so um, now it says, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And what are the devices? The device, really, when you go into the word, it means uh, an evil intent, an evil purpose, right? nefarious plans. And, and uh, th this, this device, or this MOTB, it, it, you know, there's a purpose behind it, a nefarious, there's a nefarious plot behind it. And that's really uh, to get you to... Uh, uh, Really, to 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 uh, disannounce Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, and uh, to be really put under subjection by the elite banking families. So that's its purpose. It's about total control. 
right? So lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Shouldn't be ignorant by now. Now let's get uh, Revelation chapter 13 and uh, 16. And he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Yep, and that's what you saw in the video. You saw her, right? You saw it. It's in her, it's in her right hand. <laughs> right? Scriptures don't lie. It's plain. You know, this is self-explanatory. So, you just saw it. Uh, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. What's the mark? That's the karagma that's talking about. I believe uh, the root word goes back to karox, which is an, an incision or a stake. Something being inserted into your flesh. Let's go into the word uh, mark. Yeah, karagma. Right, so a, a, a stamp, an imprinted mark. That's right, it was imprinted into her, into her right hand. Of the mark stamp on the forehead or the right hand as the badge of the followers of the Antichrist. That means you follow the spiritual demon Satan and you're really against Yahweh Shai. And now you're a part of the B system, which is backed by who? Spiritual demon Satan. And that uh, that goes against Yahweh Shai. So really, you're, you're if you take this mark, you're an enemy unto uh, Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai is coming back to take down his enemies. And he's coming back to Establish the kingdom of heaven on the planet Earth, and he has to take uh, this system down first before he brings his kingdom. So it says the mark branded upon horses. That's right. So now your property. If you're branded, it means your property. So now your property of the government, your property of the elites, and your property of the spiritual demon Satan. Thing carved, sculpture, graven work of idolatrous images. That's right. And doesn't the scripture say, "Thou shalt not have any other gods and idols before me." Right? All right. You're not supposed to serve any serve these idols. And this is an idol. This is all idolatry. Because now you're relying on this idol idol to provide for you. To take care of you. Man, and this is this is all a part of the fourth industrial revolution. I'm just gonna point that out. You know, it's gonna be linked with AI, um, cashless payments. Everything is going to be uh, uh, done through this uh, CHIP. All right. This is all a part of the fourth industrial revolution. Artificial intelligence, chat GPT, machines taking over. You merging yourselves with machinery, man. Now, let's get another one. Actually, no, I didn't really finish it. Now, let me finish it, actually. And it says, And he called all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark. So it's talking about everybody. Whatever bracket you fall under, um, if you want to be a part of the society, you're going to have to take the CHIP, high or low, whatever status you're at. Now, verse 17, And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. So you won't be able to do anything. You won't be able to buy or sell if you don't have the M-A-R-K. And you need to buy and sell. You know, we're human, we're human beings, we're consumers. We buy, we sell, we move on and about. And uh, you, you need to do that if you're going to function in this society as, as a human being, right? So it says here, or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred and three score and six. That goes into that shy stigma. <laughs> and really, that goes into a, a barcode, a universal barcode. Six, six, six. And that's, that, that's what you are. You're, you're a human barcode. Okay? You're a human barcode. Shy stigma. You know what a stigma is. You know, it's like a, a reputation that's on you. So, you know, you're literally going to have that stigma of having the B stamp on you. That's a stigma. <laughs> right? It's a stigma. So, pretty much, man, you are a walking barcode. You are a walking barcode. Okay? Which means you are property. 
So, um, yeah, man, it, this is in the scriptures. It's playing out. You can't, it can't get any more plain. Come on. To receive a mark in their right hand. And look what this woman is doing. Flashing her right hand to pay for her groceries. Serious, man. Now, see. Son. Daughter. Let's see. I think this is in... Uh, Skip New Testament. I want to get something here. Hold on. So this is this is um, Matthew chapter ten, verse uh, thirty four. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. So that's what the Lord is going to do. He's coming back to bring violence, a sword. And that's starting right now too. You know, the sword is the scriptures, but also, all, but ultimately going into the context, you know, there's going to be a physical assault that the Lord is going to bring, and it's going to be with the sword, destruction. But really, it spiritually it starts with the word being pushed out um, by his prophets and by the men of the Lord, the priests, the elder bishops, and etc. Right? Uh, verse thirty-five: For I am come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. That's right. And, um, you know, be, be, you know, expect uh, tension uh, to, 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 to be in your family, you know, to come about, to come about uh, around your loved ones, you know. Be, be, be ex you know, expect, expect tension, expect to go against them, and expect them to come up against you. And uh, that's what you're seeing here. You can see... Uh, these two are at variance. This guy doesn't want to get it. He doesn't want the MOTB, but she wants him and his uh, and, and, her, and her baby to get it. So anyways, it says here, And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. Yeah, so a man's foes is going into his enemies. And that's right. Um, they're going to be a part of your family. The people you trust and love. And that you're close to. They're going to become your enemies. Because hey man. You, you as a righteous man. You're going to choose Yahweh Shai. And your family members. They ain't going to choose Yahweh Shai. They're going to choose the world. They're going to choose the system. They're going to choose the MOTB. Just like this woman. She's a wife right. And she wants to keep her job. Because when you work. When you work for the military. Or you, which is really the government obviously. Um, you, you get paid good man. And you get taken care of. You get benefits. You get subsidies and stuff like that. You get taken care of. You get to travel the world. You get to stay in shape. You get a free education. Right? So, yeah. Um, uh, you know, your family members, they're going to want to be in the world. They don't want to lose things. But you, as a righteous man, you don't care about this world. Because you know this world is temporal and evil. So guess what? You're going to be at variance. You're going to fight each other. You're going to become enemies. Verse 37. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. That's right. So who do you love more? Do you love your wife? Who doesn't really love you? You know, you know, you know a woman like this don't love you, man. You're going to get it. That's how these women are. These women are opportunists. And you men too. You you men are opportunists too, but mainly women. You women are opportunists, man. All right, uh, you, you have a purpose, but but right now you, you you're really wicked right now. Your purpose is really uh, to to be an enemy to your man, especially if you're an Israelite man. Uh, these women are against you. Um, so uh, it says, "He that loveth father or mother more than me." Is not worthy of me, and he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. That's right. So you gotta love Yahweh Bashem Yoshai more than your family. Okay, and your wife too. And he that taketh not his cross, which is your hell, your your part in this thing, which is a suffering, right? Taking your cross up, suffering, be and being patient. And followeth me after is not worthy of me. That's right. So if you don't want to catch hell and do what you're supposed to do as a righteous man, 
which is being long suffering, then we're pretty much, man, you're not worthy uh, of Yahweh Bashem Verse 39 He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. A lot of people, uh, they're trying to find their lives by taking this CHIP. You know, she believes she has found her life by working for the government and doing these things. But really, she's going to lose her life. Ultimately, she's going to be destroyed. And and for those of you that lose your life now in this wicked and wicked temporal evil world, you're going to find your life, which is in the kingdom of heaven. You're going to be rewarded. All right, so let me get another one. This is uh, Micah chapter 2. Now it says, Woe to the to oppressors. Micah chapter 2, verse 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity. Yep, and what is iniquity? It's pretty much wickedness and you being in the condition without having the law. That's wickedness. But it says, Woe to them. And woe means destruction. And what does devise mean? Devise means plan. Right? It's a plan. So, woe to them that plan wickedness. And uh, this has been a plan. This has been in the making for centuries. They've been planning this for centuries. And now we're in the time of these plans coming into fruition. And now you're seeing it. All the infrastructure for the MOTB is here. And you know what they call it? They, they call this, this is, really a, this is really something that's a part of the fourth industrial revolution, which goes into... Uh, things becoming more automated, machines taking over, man merging with machine, AI, artificial intelligence, things of that nature. And what they're telling you with the fourth industrial revolution, that it's going to make your lives e easier. And and you're seeing it. And, and I don't blame people who are not in the know. Uh, I don't blame them for buying into this. Because look at this woman. You know, she didn't have to pull out, pull out her wallet or, I mean, her purse, Salakia. She didn't have to... Uh, get her hands dirty and bring out that cash. Everything's done in a split second. So it's very convenient. So this is all a part of the fourth industrial revolution. Okay, this is it. But this has been a plan in the making for centuries and now we're seeing it come into fruition. All the infrastructure is here and you can thank uh, the C19, that scamdemic, because it... it it, uh, it set up the infrastructure and it put it in place for this to come out. Okay? So it says here, and work evil upon their beds. And that's when they work evil. And that's how they get inspired. Because the, you know what they do, man? Okay, this is what these devils do. They go to their witches and warlocks. They do their rituals. And then them demons... Come on them. And then when they go to bed, that's when they get them dreams. They get them visions. That's where them demons and them spirits give them plans and give them the ideas to do things. All right. So, yeah, they work evil upon their beds. They're thinking about wickedness while they're going to sleep, too. <laughs> and then they get them dreams and demons. Anyway, so it says, when the morning is light, they practice it. Because it is in the power of their hand. That's right. So, hey, man, they, they, they practice their wickedness and they show you that. Okay? They practice it. All the time. They let you know. Right, they do it. They do it. And, the pow and it is in the power of their hand. They have the power to do it. They practice their wickedness and they're not ashamed of it. Right? They're not ashamed of it. Verse 2, And they covet fields and take them by violence and houses, and take them away, so they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. And that's what this uh, CHIP is going to do, ultimately. It's going to covet fields. Okay? It's going to covet fields, take away lands, take away people's lives, covet houses. Because once you take this, everything is going to be monitored. It's going to create a more centralized government. You know what that means? More power and control to the 1%. The wicked principalities and powers that be. <laughs> right? And take them away so they oppress a man. Yeah, that's right. That's oppression. Okay, that's oppression. 
you being watched daily, constantly. They know when you take a number two. They know when you take a number one. They know when your heart rate is up. Oh, you know, this guy's heart rate is up. He's probably exercising. Oh, he's probably having sex. Probably having sex with his wife. You know, they, they can monitor that off of the CHIP. So it just shows you, man, these devils, they're far-reaching when it comes to technology. And that's what she mentioned, too, at the end of the video. You know, technology has advanced so far. We have come so far, pretty much. That's what she said. She's telling her husband that. And her husband was like, whatever. But that's where we're at. Okay? But that's oppression. That's oppression. People aren't supposed to know everything about you like that. They're not supposed to know everything you do. Especially the things that you do behind closed doors in your own home. So it says, so they oppress a man in his house, even a man and his heritage. So this, this not only oppresses you, it oppresses your heritage, which is your offspring. Your children's children's children. Okay. <laughs> it's going to get to the point where they're going to allow you to have kids. If you don't take the M-A-R-K, then you can't have children. <laughs> it's, it's, it's insane, man. And the list goes on. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, Behold, against this family do I devise an evil. Anyway, I'm done. I don't need to read any more of that. But uh, that was the point. Um, that was the point. That was the point. Now, I hope this was edifying. Uh, till next time, I just want to give all praises, glory, and honor due unto uh, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakha Chodash. And the Blahners, the Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone of GMS to USA Shalom and Shalom to the Hopeful Elect, Kwame Asha'Allah and Abad Babal.